Member Saanich North and the Islands. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, the labour dispute between uh, School District Number 63 and QP441 is hurting the 500 school support workers, clerical, transportation, grounds, maintenance, and custodial staff that provide critical services to the quality of public education in my riding. It also disrupts teachers, school administrators, and the 8,000 students that are sitting at home this week. In addition to the disruption to public education, thousands of families in my riding are scrambling to find childcare and manage their way through this difficult situation. I'm hearing all about the challenges, Mr. Speaker. The families in my riding need certainty. Accountability flows to this House, where the government must deliver on their commitment to families in British Columbia to provide a quality public education system. Through you, Mr. Speaker, to the Minister of Education, parents in my riding want to know, what is the pathway for resolving this labour dispute? Minister of Education. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I, I thank the member for the question. And I, uh, I know, in, in terms of his constituents, this is a very stressful situation for parents and for kids uh, in uh, Saanich School District. Uh, I want to let them know that the province of British Columbia is obviously monitoring the situation very closely. We have remained available to provide whatever assistance we can to get the two parties back at the negotiating table. Uh, and find a resolution forward. And I would add that we have achieved success 53 other times with support <coughs> staff unions right across British Columbia where we've ne negotiated successful agreements uh, with uh, support staff unions uh, and workers. And we expect that within the sustainable services mandate, we can achieve exactly that in Saanich. We want to do it immediately. We'd like a resolution to the situation as soon as possible. The government remains available to help the two parties, both the Saanich School District as the employer uh, and the union uh, represented by CUPE. Uh, to do just that. Saanich North and the Islands on a supplemental. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I thank the uh, Minister for uh, his response. Uh, mediation has not been successful to date. The parties have been at the mediation table. Uh, I've met with both sides and I've heard that everyone agrees that actually there's a, a problem that not necessarily can be solved locally. There are substantial and historic challenges in Saanich that have gone unaddressed for decades. From what I've learned, the provincial negotiating framework lacks the flexibility the school board requires to address the situation in our district. It appears to back workers into a corner with conditions that punish them for advancing their interests. It forces them to accept the status quo as they have done for successive contracts. It also handcuffs the employer, whose representative was on the CBC this morning, highlighting the low how the situation impairs recruitment and retention. It appears that it's on the minister to solve this situation. In the Times columnist this morning, the minister rightly states the previous government did not address this inequity. However, the negotiating framework appears unchanged. The situation is on this government. Only the current minister has the power to do what previous administrations have failed to do. Mr. Speaker, through you to the Minister of Education, the situation is impacting the quality of education in my riding, the quality of life, for the workers and uncertain and is causing uncertainty for families in Saanich. How does the minister intend to redress the unmanageable and growing disparities between workers in Saanich and their counterparts in the same city in neighboring school districts? Minister of Education. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. And again, again to the member, our government is seeking to do what we've done successfully with 230,000 public servants right across British Columbia, and that is su successfully negotiate agreements under a free collective bargaining framework. We seek to do the exact same in the Saanich School District. We have done so on 53 occasions with the support staff unions around British Columbia. Uh, I, I want to thank the district thus far and the union for trying to work creatively under the Sustainable Services Mandate Committee. It's not as if the parties are hopelessly far apart. They are close and could be closer uh, to an agreement. For example, as the member mentioned, we have inherited a situation where workers in this district have had their wages held down for the better part of a decade. The parties have agreed already to look at an 11.7% wage increase in a three-year term for educational assistance. That's what we've been able to offer uh, at this point in time uh, in the Senate School District. We have achieved agreements with 53 other support staff unions, there is the same mandate is available to this group of workers. There is no reason why we can't be successful. We want to work as hard as we can. We will offer the resources to get the job done, get an agreement that's good for the workers in Saanich School District and good for kids and parents and families in classrooms in this district. <laughs>